you guys to do at home with your things. Today we're going to be focusing on, all on uh, fun experiments that you can do with water. So we have two planned for today, and I have everything here that we're going to need, and I'll walk through what we're going to need before we get into the second. So for the first experiment, we're going to need uh, four glass jars or glass cups. Uh, we tried using this experiment with plastic earlier, and it didn't really work so well, so we highly recommend using glass. You're going to need warm and cold water, some towels for cleanup, because we're going to be doing a lot with water, so it's going to get still, just that's how kids are. And we're going to need uh, blue and yellow food coloring, and then some sort of just mail you have lying around the house that's kind of laminated, something that you might be able to use to kind of make a seal. For our second experiment, we're going to need some vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol, uh, another glass jar or bottle or some, side of some sort of container, and then some red food dye. So now that we know what we need, let's go ahead and move on to how to set everything up. Alright, so setup for this one is pretty easy like most of the ones we do. We do recommend having a tub or maybe doing this in a sink or something just to catch the mess. It'll make your cleanup a whole lot easier. So to start off, we are going to put hot water in one jar and cold water in the other. Make sure you keep track of which is which, because that's going to be important when we get into the experiment. Now what we're going to do, you are going to want the bottom jar, which for our first one is going to be hot water. You're going to want it to be filled as close to the top as you can get. And you're going to go ahead and put your food colorings, just a couple drops into each one. Um, and you can stir that around to get the colors all mixed up well. Now the last thing, you're going to take your piece of mail, you're going to cover the top of this one, and then we're going to flip it and place it on top of the other one as best you can. Okay. So this is the setup, so let's go ahead and find out what happens in the experiment. So, we've moved our experiments out of the tub and put them on these trays just so that it'll be easier for you guys to see it when we go ahead and do it. Um, remember, we're going to be doing this twice or you can set it all up at once, whichever is best for you. What's important is where you place the hot and cold water. So the first one we did, we have the cold water on top and the blue bottom, or sorry, the hot water on bottom. The second one, we have the hot water on top and the cold water on bottom. And this is going to be important for our experiment. Okay. This is a good time to ask the kids what they think is going to happen. Ask them some predictions. Do they think um, the colors are going to stay apart? Are they going to mix together? Is the water going to go everywhere? With that is a possibility that the water is just going to go everywhere. Right. Um, that's why it's important to have two people help at this next part when we start to pull out uh, these pieces of paper. All right. So let's go ahead and pull out the pieces of paper and we'll see what happens. The first one is the cold water on top and the hot water on bottom. So it looks like this kind of mixed together. It looks all green now. So the blue and the yellow came together, made all the water green. Yep. So our second one. So this one's a little different. It looks like the blue stayed mostly at top. A little bit of that blue got down and changed it to green, but it looks mostly yellow. Mm -hmm. So if you always wanna go ahead, I can explain the science for you. All right, so what's happening here, it's all about the temperature, which also ties into density. So the warm water is really energetic. It has a lot of energy, so it's moving much more quickly than our cold water. So to kind of see this, we set up a little miniature experiment right up here. What we're going to do is we're going to put in a single drop right on the surface of both waters and you can watch and see how fast or how slow the colors mix. Now what you'll notice is that our hot water, because it has more energy, it's going to mix a little bit faster than the cold one. So as we can see, our hot water has mixed much faster than the cold water. Now what this means is that our cold water has more density. So what does density mean? Well, that just means it's more compact in a way. So 
because we have two different densities, this now comes into uh, some you know, rules about density. Heavier things or things with more density tend to sink. So in this example, we had our cold water, which has more density on top of our hot water, which has less density. The cold water mixed in very quickly, and that's what caused us to have that really quick color change reaction. In this example, where we have the hot water on top, the hot water has less density, and therefore it mostly just sits on top of our cold water and doesn't mix as fast until the color or the temperatures kind of begin to match. So as you can see, we do have a layer of green in, in the middle, but for the most part, our colors are staying separate. All right, so for our second experiment, it's also gonna deal with density. Uh, and this one's gonna be, you're gonna start with your glass jar. And we're going to fill it about halfway to a little more than halfway with water. Then we're going to add in some drops of coloring just to help with uh, seeing everything once we're done. So a couple drops and go ahead and stir that in. And then we are going to add our uh, vegetable oil. So I'm using a pipette. You can use anything at home, turkey baster, eyedropper, medicine dropper, even just putting your finger in the oil and dropping it in, that'll work as well. And we are going to very carefully place that right on the surface of the water and try and kind of collect it together in one big bubble. And once you have that in there, we are going to slowly add in, we're gonna tilt it a little bit to the side and slowly add in your rubbing alcohol. And kind of fill it up the rest of the way. So now, when we look at it from the side, you should see that we've got two layers and we've got the little blob of oil just kind of sitting there in the center. So you can continue to finish filling it up all the way or you can leave it at this point, that's up to you. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and put the lid onto the container. And this should keep for as long as you have it. You wanna do this because the rubbing alcohol will evaporate very quickly. If it has a container, it'll stay in there. And they can set this up in a window or whatever, and that will last for a while. Now what's happening here is the same thing with our density. Uh, we have our water, which has more density than our oil. So our oil sits right on top. It doesn't sink because it has less density. And our rubbing alcohol has even less density than both the oil and the water. So it forms another layer. And that's how we get that in the center. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Daily Dose of Science here at the Sloan Museum in Longway Planetarium. If you like this video, make sure you check out our other videos on all of our social media platforms. We're on YouTube, Longway Planetarium. We have two Facebook pages, Sloan Museum and Longway Planetarium. And you can also check them out on our website at sloanlongway.org. And we'd love to hear back from you guys, so please help us like, share, and post any uh, photos or uh, videos that you guys take doing these experiments with your kids to our hashtag at SL underscore daily dose. And share with us what's going on and let us know what's happening because we would love to see what you guys are doing. I'm Katie. And I'm Eli. And thank you for watching today's Daily, daily dose, dose of Science. science.